this is the moment I've been waiting for. So I finally managed to steal the Galaxy Fold from Raju sir. So uh, let's spend a day with it and tell you what it feels like using this marvelous piece of tech. So it's not every day that you're intrigued by a new piece of tech. But the Galaxy Fold is actually one such smartphone. But the real question here is how practical it really is. So let's just set aside the basics like uh, performance, I mean you have a Snapdragon 855 uh, and uh, more RAM and storage than what you would ever need so that's of course splendid and the cameras are great too, it's the same uh, set of cameras that we found on the S10 series and the S10 had a great uh, set of cameras so the Fold does really well at that too uh, also the battery has been holding up pretty well, I just put a screenshot of the stats that I've got till now and uh, it all boils down to that form factor, that display on the inside and on the outside also actually and how you could actually benefit from it or it could also be a negative based on your usage. So I was speaking about those displays right and the one on the inside to be fair is splendid. I mean just look at this. It's gorgeous, isn't it? If you consume a lot of content, if you play a lot of games, there's nothing that matches this on a mobile device, at least for now. But the one on the outside, I would say, is slightly on the smaller side, given the mammoth displays we've been seeing on phones for the past year or two. This thing actually feels crammed. I mean, uh, imagine typing on a keyboard like this. I mean, there are moments wherein you really want to use your phone one-handed and you have to reply to a quick message and opening up the phone is not always the best uh, thing to do and that's where you really want to be able to do stuff on the smaller screen but that unfortunately is slightly hard for now. So I just came to office a while back uh, to finish some work and I thought this would be the right uh, place to just uh, give an update about how things have been holding up. Uh, so in terms of battery, I said the battery has been performing pretty well and I'm currently on 50%. It's 6.45pm uh, right now and I've had about 3 hours of screen on time and the reason I consider this good is because this display over here is huge and I have an always on display on and the things I've done have been quite heavy. In fact, I've consumed a lot of uh, content on YouTube uh, given that huge display, it, it's amazing to look at and uh, of course showed it, uh, showed this to a lot of friends and uh, flexed a bit in college. So things like that and of course a lot of social media, some Twitter, a lot of WhatsApp messages and uh, camera of course, I've used the camera a lot to take some pictures and while doing all this, some things that uh, I observed were that the phone actually feels quite heavy when uh, in use. Uh, that's understandable, it's a big chunky smartphone and uh, due to that there is always this constant fear of dropping it especially because it's a glass back and it's slippery, I've been using it with this case that comes within the box. But yes, you do have a fear of dropping it and given that this is like what a $2,000 smartphone, you really want to make sure you handle this with a lot of care and even at times when I'm just folding or unfolding the smartphone, there's this constant fear that what if something goes wrong and I have to visit the service center and again spend a bomb on it. But yeah, this has been my general uh, observation. Also the display on the inside is plastic so it's really easy to scratch and it actually accumulates a lot of uh, dust and lint on the edges especially where the inner camera module is. Uh, such things are what you need to take into consideration. Uh, but yeah that's uh, pretty much it for now. If there are a uh, few other things that I have to mention I will get back. So it's also important to mention the software aspects that uh, Samsung has taken care of. 
so for example you have the multitasking mode wherein you can actually run two apps simultaneously or even three if you want to be adventurous uh, three is slightly far fetched the two is a uh, little more practical you can have chrome and notes take notes while you browse the web and uh, things like that uh, and also there is something called continuity so if you are using something on the smaller display and you open the fold you can actually see the same content on the bigger display which is actually really nice so the way in which samsung has managed to scale every single app uh, even third party apps uh, is actually quite commendable i mean things like twitter gmail etc appear uh, really well just show you a quick insight into what it looks like for example uh, as you see the time timeline on twitter is actually scale really well fits in stuff is acting to the size things like these are actually handled pretty well on the galaxy fold well our unit of the galaxy fold is heading back to samsung today and having used it for the past couple of days i think it all again boils down to how practical it really is to hold and use a phone with a form factor like this and uh, to be honest it's quite refreshing to use a phone like this compared to all the mundane smartphones uh, that we've been used to of from the past couple of years and uh, the fold is actually a step in the right direction foldables are here to stay but this might not just be the form factor that every brand might uh, target i mean of course you get the fact that you can fit in a huge display as this in your pocket is fantastic and of course we have implementations from huawei and uh, a different take on the same design from moto with the moto razr uh, it's quite interesting to see how phones like these are really panning out and kudos to samsung for being the first to uh, put it out into the market at least uh, a usable implementation of the foldable form factor well yeah as i said it's my last day with the fold it's going back uh, am i sad well yes of course uh, but uh, am i also happy to be switching back to the note 10 plus or the iphone 11 pro well i'm actually quite happy i mean that seems like a more practical design at least as of now i don't have to keep worrying about the fragility and breaking that display on the inside so well yeah that's been our take on the galaxy fold it's a fantastic concept let's see how it pans out in the future thank you so much for watching if you like this video make sure you subscribe and uh, stick around for more such videos